do an example. So let's do an example. Let's say we have a 10 megawatt pool fire is located 100 meters from, a, from an adjacent fuel tank. Assuming 30% of the heat release is radiated and the energy is emitted in a sphere, what is the heat flux on the wall of the tank? So we can solve our equation. We want to know the heat flux, Q dot double prime, radiative at the tank. So this is equal to our heat release rate times 0 0.3 divided by the surface area of the sphere, which is 4 pi r squared. So this is equal to 10 megawatts, which there is uh, one megawatt is a thousand kilowatts and we want to input our heat release rate in terms of kilowatts times 0 0.3 divided by 4 pi times 100 squared so this is equal to 10 times a thousand and 0.3 divided by parentheses 4 times 5 times 100 squared close parentheses. So this is equal to 0 0.24 kilowatts per meter squared. Okay, so we need to ask the question Is this reasonable? So we know that if we have a fire, so let's say we have a fire, 10 megawatts is pretty big. That'd be, let's say, 10 couches burning. So that's a pretty big fire. It's quite large. You wouldn't be standing right next to it. We did 8-foot pool fires of kerosene, and they were supposed to have about an 8 megawatt heat release rate. So um, if you were in class on campus, one of these years, we would have done a fire about this big. So, and we're assuming that the radiation is emitted in a sphere. I know mean, it's not a very good sphere. So, the farther away you get from the fire, the less radiation you're going to receive. Now, if we start in the center of the fire and we go 100 meters away, that's a little more than a football field. That's pretty far. So while up close we would expect to get a rather large amount of heat release rate or heat flux from a fire, when we get that far away we don't expect to get that much. Now a, the sun gives off 1 to 2 kilowatts per meter squared on a sunny day. So it makes sense that when we're really far away from this fire we would be receiving less than the sun, but still some amount. So does this seem reasonable? I think it does. It's less than the sun, but it's not mm, super small. So it's a pretty big fire, but we're pretty far away. So I think that's a reasonable.